gorgeous people and welcome back to my channel my name is Isa Galvin and today we will look at our pop and edit the photo in Photoshop so last time uh, we edited the photo of our German Shepherd puppy and we finished the edit in Lightroom today we will finish the photo in Photoshop okay so we have our photo edited in Lightroom and we will uh, press command E and open it up in Photoshop there we go that's our photo so the first thing I do is check on what what's actually bothering me I use the uh, patch tool uh, I don't like spot healing brush tool because you never know what it does and I will press delete and use a uh, content alert fill we press ok and it removes it for us here there's a little bit that's left we can also drag and drop and remove what bothers us um, there's not much in this photo that bothers me now we'll remove that branch here uh, with content aware fill you gotta be careful because well photoshop does what it does so i like to go step by step and i'll remove this branch in steps um photoshop does a good job removing things um like just apart when they're a part of the dog i'll remove it separately then the branch that's on the white part otherwise photoshop does some weird shit and it just doesn't look good uh, but actually with the removing of things it's it's actually well, you try it's, it's trial and error you try and you see what works there so as you have seen uh, Photoshop does a very good job by itself oh, there's just a little bit left and that we can just drag and drop and it's perfect let's check the nose nose is okay the eyes yes like so that's I think I think the cleaning is done and the next thing I'll do I'll go and convert it to a smart object that allows me to put on camera raw filter which I can always go back to so we will hit command shift and a and it will open up the camera raw filter it's very similar to Lightroom but since it's Photoshop you can always brush it off like with a mask and that's super useful and you can control it a tiny bit better okay so the first thing I'll do is I'll enhance that light here there we go that okay we shall set it and then we shall lift the highlights and the whites so it and the saturation on here there's a lot of yellows in there uh, okay maybe bump up the exposure a bit again this is totally to your liking you don't need to do it like that I like to um, because I like to highlight certain areas of the dog. Um, yes, but since we've done so much in in Lightroom already, I won't do much here. See, uh, if you hover over, you see where the mask is effect, uh, where, where the affected area is. Uh, I think it's a. I'm gonna move it a bit away from the dog, and that's that's about it press ok and there we go and we can always turn it on and off so we actually see what we've done that's the part I love about Photoshop the most okay the next thing I do is I will sharpen the eyes and I have an action for it it's a high pass filter uh, if you want the action you can write to me and I will send it to you uh, I use a soft brush I'm 100% flow I love to use flow because it means that as many times as I go over a spot, it will increase the value until 100. 100. So if I have it like a flow on 
and I brush over and over and over, it will layer it. Well, if I put it in opacity, as long as I'm holding the pen down, it will stay in 10%. I hope that makes sense. So what did we do before, after? Yes, I love it. Um, yes, I started doing a, a non-destructive edit with my dog photos. I used to merge everything before, but now I, I said to myself, let's leave it. <laughs> it's a bit larger file size, but you know, whatever. Okay. Uh, so we sharpen, sharpen the eyes and the next thing I'll do, I'll do some dodge and burn. I have an action for it, but if you want to do it manually uh, or step by step, you just hit adjustments, curves, uh, for dodge, that's highlighting areas, you'll, um, you'll lift the curve upwards in the middle and if you want to have a burn, you'll go downwards and then you'll hit command E to invert the mask. Since I've got my actions, I'll delete that now. And then I'll take a soft brush on 10% flow. And I, I always start with dodge, so I go to the highlighted areas. You have to have a white brush working on the back mask, on the black mask. And you actually just go through everything that's highlighted, uh, that's lighter that was actually hit by light because we want to with dodge and burn we want to emphasize uh, actually the, the contour of the dog. Oh, I'll get the eyes a bit inside. I love how how actually it, it makes the dog pop. It's so nice to do that. I used to be scared of that so much because I always thought it was too much and too much and it would be visible what I'm doing and when you're working with Photoshop your edits should be like people should be like wow good job but they shouldn't be like oh yeah you've done that and I can see where you cloned something or where you brushed something that's not the purpose of it the purpose is that people just don't know what you did but they know you did something and that's the, that's the magic, in my opinion. And then I go to burn and I concentrate on all the darker areas, like where the shadows are. Uh, but I like to emphasize the, the black part of the dogs. I think it makes it so pretty. But then again, that's my editing style. It might not be yours. Um, it's just, you know, you're just watching me do what I do and you might find yourself doing something completely else um, when you edit your photos. Uh, there, I, I do the eyes. I used to find it really hard to know what's actually dark and what's light. I know that might, might sound funny to some, but I think if somebody struggles with something um, they should know it's normal it's part of the process and it gets better with time it gets so much better <laughs> you start to actually see it it's not like you have to think like where the light or did the light go but it's actually you see what you did and how you did it um, like the part down here I won't highlight it, I'll just do it like that. And what I also like to do with dodge and burn is go a little bit, then make a vignette. Just because I'm too easy on the vignettes later and I like to do my emphasis like now. If that makes sense. It probably doesn't, but you know. It's, it's a creative thinking process. I'll also highlight um, the area where the dog is standing or that emphasizes um, the, the plane of focus, let's call it like that. Let's take a look what it did. That's with dodge and that's burn. I think it looks pretty nice. We're not there yet though. I think something's missing still. 
Uh, the next thing I'll do is I'll go to Selected Color and work on the greens in the background. So let's see uh, what happens. Almost nothing's happening. I always like to pull my markers to the extreme so I know what we are working on. And as you can see, there's almost no greens in this picture. Uh, and but there are plenty of yellow. There you go. I like to make a photo a bit warmer. I don't know why, but I find it pretty. Mm. Also, I'm concentrating on the background, background right now, not on the dog. As you can see, the dog is just all red. Uh, so I'll just brush it out, put my flow on uh, 100, and this time I won't. I won't be using a soft brush, but I'll put my hardness to around 60% uh, and just, I'll just brush the dot out. Since we, we don't need to be that careful with the background, I mean, I'm, I'm usually a lazy ass and it's like that, I could also just um, select the dog and you know mask it out like that but I don't know today I don't feel like it there are so many ways of doing that and today I feel like brushing them out mm -hmm. today I feel like brushing it out mm, down here there we go and now I'll hit X and switch and just go and correct it on the edges I've seen it like here and here. Like you gotta find a nice balance between what you do and what you don't do. And it's suppo not supposed to be visible if you that you did what you did. So to a plain eye, they shouldn't know that I've been changing the background but not the color of the dog. There we go. That's pretty. That looks much nicer. Okay, so we did selective color. What I also like to do is put some boost on it. That's also an action that I have. So I'll merge the whole edit with a command option sheet and E. And it'll make a new layer with the photo on it. And I'll use my boost uh, action. I'll put it to 20% for somewhere around here. It's basically contrast adding contrast um, and I'll delete the layer here uh, if you want the action just contact me I use it basically on all my photos and I really really love it okay the next thing I'll do is I'll put on a vignette yes I, I simplified my process and I use um, I totally use actions all the time uh, but that's basically a gradient fill uh, with a radial gradient and it's reversed uh, and then a mask is on top. I'll put it on soft white so actually the white areas don't get affected as much especially this one that we actually um, amplified I think that's the word and I'll take a black brush black soft brush there we go on 100% and I'll do three clicks on the dog and look at the vignette. That's it. It's not much, but it's something. We can do it a bit more. Okay. So looking at this picture, I think the dog is still a bit too dark, in my opinion, the, the eyes area. So what I'll do is I'll go with the smart filters back to before. Open camera raw filter and I'll use some radial filter on his eye like we actually did in Lightroom already but as I told you it's I find it simpler doing in Photoshop because you actually see what you're doing and yeah you, you can always go back and specify it a bit more so I lifted the shadows I put on some blacks and I'll lift the exposure tiny tiny bit press ok 
color over. Okay, it's on the eyes. I think that's much better now. Yes, I will click OK. Let's see. There you go. It's, it's just a tiny bit, but I think it does the trick. Mm. I think I'll go and check the levels now. I got a feeling that I could lighten it up a bit. There. Let's see the before and after. Yes, I think it's much better. Maybe the highlights are a bit too blown out now. So I'll invert it. Command E and take my brush, my white brush. You switch between the brushes with the X and I'll just brush in just about. You don't have to be super careful here. I think that looks much better because the dog actually pops out even more. See? Yes. I think that's perfect. Now this is actually looking really, really neat. Hmm. Now I'm asking myself if there's something more I could do. I mean, it depends on the edit that you want. You could totally go, go into a much darker style and put totally blackness around it and emphasize the light behind it. But I don't know. I, for me personally, that's a bit too much. I don't know. That's just my personal style. And I actually like it as it is. Go to adjustments and do one more thing, and that's its brightness and contrast. I'll add some contrast. Let's see. Yes, I like that. And maybe I'll add some saturation in overall because, yeah, it just looks more lively. Yes, that's it's subtle changes like that, but in the end, it totally pays off and that's it for the photoshop workflow hit command and s for save wait till the computer saves your stuff and go back and let's see what we've done and there we go that's our after okay so that's the photo we shot that's with the lightroom edit and this is the final Photoshop edit. I think we've done a really great job with it. And I'm actually really happy with how it turned out. I hope you liked the video. I hope you learned something new. If you did, press the like and uh, subscribe button. I'll be really, really thankful for it. If you want to support me, you can also buy me a coffee. Uh, the link's down below. And I hope to see you next week with my next video. <laughs>